then what about um, favorite lucid dreaming techniques? You know, do I have a top 10 of that? And, you know, honestly, I don't I don't really have that either. And I think mostly because I don't really think of them as as individual as individual things. It's, it always kind of comes as a package. Like the more I do, everything works in a, uh, synergistically and the more likely I am to have a lucid dream. So I don't have 10, but I broke it down here into five. So one would be soaking your mind in it. And this would really probably be my general go-to answer if somebody asked me just randomly, you know, like, hey, what's your, what do you do to have lucid dreams tonight? I would just say, try to soak my mind in it all day long by, you know, whatever means necessary. If you're doing a book about it, you know, for me, thinking about videos I got to make, um, giving the training on it, talking to friends or people about it, stuff like that. The more I'm thinking about it all day long, you know, setting random alarms on my phone to do my reality checks throughout the day, all that kind of stuff. Just keeping it on my mind all day is a really important one. Another huge one is REM rebound. So, you know, if you short yourself on sleep for a night or two, your REM will kick in heavy really early on a lot. I mean, like early on a lot harder. And for me, that's when a lot of my best lucid dreams are. Like I have a lot of my most um, stable, long lucid dreams. And this could seem a bit odd, but for me, it works best when they happen early on in the night. Like, you know, not not hour seven, eight, nine. Those are great when they happen. And a lot of times they're long and shit like that. But really, a lot of my most powerful, meaningful lucid dreams came to me in the first like, you know, three hours of sleep. So REM rebound can really help that. Three would be um, intention setting. So this could be, this is kind of like soaking your mind on it, honestly, but it, this is what you do right before bed. So, you know, meditating on whatever you want to have done before going to sleep or as you're going to sleep. Uh, getting a dream journal out and journaling what you want to happen before going to sleep. You could even try draw pictures if you're an artist and shit. Just whatever kind of gets more of your intention and feeling out there or onto that paper can help you, um, you know, uh, manifest that shit later on while you're sleeping. And then number four is supplements. So uh, time release B6 would be my favorite, right? Because you can take that anytime before bed. And then you can kinda, uh, then you can combine that with the wake back to bed method. And that's kind of combined with the supplements as well. So, you know, Three hours into sleep, I would say, is probably the best time because then um, you're still probably really tired and it's easy for you to fall back asleep. And by that point, I think your REM cycle should be kind of kicking up or even maybe not three, maybe go like three and a half hours. So you kind of wake up, you know, partway into your uh, third stage of sleep, uh, third cycle of sleep. And then you can combine that with, for me, it would probably be uh, mugwort first, just because galantamine kind of fires up my brain too much and might keep me awake. But, you know, whatever. If you're not like me and galantamine doesn't keep you awake, then for sure, fucking galantamine all the way. If not, I found mugwort works uh, pretty good for that, too. 